Good morning, I am Maria Fatima Bernaldez and I am here to demonstrate the final output of Lesson 3 Grading System and the Grading System of Department of Education. So here, Task 1, the following final grades are obtained in the class of Grade 9 students. So here are the grades of the Grade 9 students. So in question number one, using a norm reference grading with a 7-point scale determine the scores that would get a failing mark. What is your general comment on this? So in form reference grading with a 7-point scale, according to the depth ed guide and the old normal class settings, the failing grade is below 75. So here, I put it like this so um above is 95 94 to 92 this is the seven point skills so below 75 and seven point skills are failed that is the failing mark so here no one score below 75 as you can see, there's no below 75. So therefore, my general comment is all grade 9 students pass with the use of norm reference grading system with a 7-point scale. So number 2, using the norm reference grading with an 8-point grading skill determine the scores that would get a failing mark, how it is compared to the previous grading system used. So, this is the grading, uh, 8 point skills grading. So, as you can see, above 95 is excellent and then so on and so forth. So, seven, and 8 point skills, 77 below is failed. So, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 75 who, had, who got 75 so they are failed in the 8-point skills. In 8-point grading skills, the failing grade is below 77. Here, below 77. So as you can see, among the students who got 75 would get a failing mark. There are 4 students who got 75. So compared to the 7-point skills, is lower than 8 point skills then the then the more student will get passing grade in seven point skill then it's used compared to eight point skills task 1b compute the grade of a student in grade 5 english with the following row score so the formula is percentage score ps learners total row score over highest possible score times 100 percent then weighted score ws percentage score times weighted of component so so written work is 75 out of 100 so we're going to use this percentage score PS 75 this is the row score 100 over 100 times 100 percent so 75 divided by 100 is 0 0.75 so times 100 so 7 0 0.75 times 100 is equals to 75 so we're going to the proceed to weighted score percentage score times weight of the component so i have a w s 75 times 
the written work is 0.30. 75 times 0.30 is equal to 22.5. So this is. And this. We go with the proceeding performance test, which is 50%. So, P is 80, 80 out of 100. Since 100%. So, 80 divided by 100 is equals to 8.0.8 times 100, 0 0.8 times 100 is equals to 80. So, in weighted scores, the eighty times 50% equals 40. Proceed here, score in quarterly, 65 out of 100. So, PS, 65 out of 100 times 100%. 65 divided by 100 is equal to 0 0.65. So, times 100 is equals to 65. So in weighted score, 65 times 20% is the quarterly score exam is 20%. So point 20, 65 times point 20 is 13. So as you get the average score from written work, performance test, and quarterly score, so you will add it like 22.5, then 40. Plus 13. So, as you add this, it is 75.5. So, in transmuted, so to get the final grade, transmuted 75.5 is 95. <laughs> So the student is 95. 95. Grade 5 English with the following row score. So the total average of his grade is 95. So that's it. Task B number 2. Grade 6 students in mathematics with the following row grade. So we will solve their row scores and find their grades so this is the formula percentage score ps learners total row score over highest possible row score times 100 percent so weighted row score ws percentage score times weighted of component score so let's begin PS 33 over 50 times 100. So 33 divided by 50 is equals to 0 0.67 times 100. 0 0.67 times 100 is equals to 
67. So we're going to this weighted score, percentage score times weight of that component. Um, 67 times the weighted of component is 40% in written work. 40%. So 67 times 0.40 is equals to 26.5. So, proceed to the performance test. So, PS 40 over 60 times 100 percent. So, 40 divided by 60 is 6, 0.666 times 100. So, 0 0.66, 0 0.666 times 100 is equal to 67. I do the round off. So, here, we're going to the weighted score. 67. Times 40%, 0 0.40 or 0 0.40 equals 67 times 0 0.40 is 26.8. So that's it. So proceed here and score quarterly test. Um, 30 out of 40, and then so PS. 30 over 40 times 100. 30 divided by 40 is 0 0.75 times 100 equals to 75. So proceed and weighted score. Um, Weighted score equals 75 times 20%, 20% and quarterly test. So, 0.20. So, 75 times 0.20 is equals to 15. So, we're going to add the total score into their final grade. So, um, so written work is 26.4, um, PT performance task is 26.8, and then the quarterly test is 15, so we're going to add that zero. So, so the total grade is 68.2, but it, to be transmitted and regardless from the depth and grade transmitted, so 68.2 is transmitted in two. 91.0 So this is the final grade. So we are now in task 2. So complete complete the table below. This is the table. Calculate the total row score in each component. Determine the percentage score PS apply the percentage weighted and weighted scores. WF and calculate their her first quarter. So 
12. Now, start. Okay, so PS, the, so we're gonna total this up all. So um, 18 plus 10 plus 19 plus 20 plus 22 plus 25 plus 30 is equals to 144. So, so now the total score of the written work is 144. So, we're going to, to solve the PS, the percentage score. So, 144, so PS, 144, divide the total score, um, 180, the rows, times 100, so 140 divided by 190 is equals to 7.78 times 100 is equals to 75.79. It's because I I round off the second digit because from the, from the decimal point because there are some other digit here which is above five so now weighted score 75.79 so we're going to put it there the 75.79 Okay, 75.79 times the written work is 30%. Point, point 30 is equals to 22.74. So... 22.74 This is the weighted score in written work 22.74 So proceed to performance task um, We're going to add this 16 plus 24 plus 24 plus 28 is equals to 92 So we're going to find out the percentage score of the performance task. So, PS, um, 92 divided by 110 equals 100 out times 100. So, 92 divided by 110 is equals to 0 0.8360 times 100 is equals to 83.64. So, in... Weighted score is equals to 80. Three point sixty four times the performance task is fifty point fifty. So equals to forty one point eighty two. So here we're we're going to put the um percentage score which is 83.64. So the weighted score 
is 41.82. So now, we're going to answer this one. So, 30 divided by um, PS. 30 divided by 50 times 100 is equals to 6 0 0.6 times 100 is equals to 60. So we're going to put the 60 here and then proceed to weighted score. 60 times 20 which is the quarterly assessment. So, 60 times 0.20 is equals to 12. So, 12. We'll proceed to the question. Suppose Ellen, Ellen's grade is the same in the same subject for the second, third, and fourth quarter are 87. 88 and 90. Respectively, compute the, her final rating rounded by the nearest unit and give its descriptive equivalent. So now we are, we are already found the weighted score in written work, performance tasks, and quarterly assessment. So we're going to find the first quarter grade of Ellen. So, so the formula is equals to the sum of the weighted score. So here it's going to add the written work written work is 22.74 plus the plus the performance test is 41 performance test is 41.82 and then plus the quarterly assessment is equals to 12.00 so we're going to add and then the total is 76 Point fifty six. Yeah. Seventy six point fifty six is equivalent to eighty five transmuted. Great. So the first quarter is. 85. So to find the final grade of Ellen, final grade is equals to final grade is equals to the first quarter, the second quarter, the third quarter, the fourth quarter. So 85 plus 87 plus 88 plus 90 so equals to 350 so 350 divided by 4 is equals to 87.5 so we're going to round off because it is about 5 so it's 88 So this is now the final grade, final rating is 88. Answer, Ellen's final rating is 88% and its descriptive rating is PASS. So let's proceed to task 2B. The final numerical 
and descriptive ratings of Ellen in the other learning areas and subjects are given below. Using the result of you obtain above determine her final grade. So using this grade of Ellen, it is from Aralin Palipunan. So 88 and pass. So let's run. So, to get the missing blanks here in general average, the final grade will be computed as final grade final grade equals to the sum of the total grade of this all subject so 89 over over the number of the subject one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six hundred eighty-five divided by eight is equals to eighty-five point sixty-three. So, round off is equal to 86. So, there's no need to transmute this grade because the all grades already transmuted. So, let's put it here. So, the average, average grade is 86 and... Pass. So that's it. Let's proceed to task three. We are now in task three. So here we are, provide a table showing a sample card of a grade six student named Paolo for the first quarter of the school year 2020 to 2021. Using the discussion of lesson eight, our guide. So I'm going to fill up this space to get the needed data until I will be able to compute for his quarterly grade at last co column. So we are now going to solve all the written works here first. So Filipino and English is 30%. So the formula is still same from the previous task. But we only use which is the weighted score equals percentage score and weighted component. And we are going to follow this weighted component, this one. This is the weighted component for grade 1 to grade 10. Written work is 30% and in, in, in 
Kasong Panlipula. To compute the component of MAPE subject, music, arts, physical education, and health, and written work is 20%. the computed weighted score in all subject and written work. So proceed to performance tasks. We are going to use this table as following the given percentage of the performance tasks First stop is Filipino and English, 50%, and 40% Science and Math, and 60% for MAPE and EPP. So we are going to solve it now. subjects which is the for formula is the sum of the written work the performance and the quarterly assessment Um, grade for Filipino. Then do the same in all the subjects.
I put on all the initial grades in the table. So this is the initial grade. After I solve it, I put it in the table in, the, in a blank space and then transmuted it. So 88, 86, 87, and so on and so forth. So now we are going to proceed in finding the MAPI grades. Written work, percentage score, weight, PS, percentage score and performance test, weight, quarterly assessment, percentage score, weight, initial grade, and quarterly grade. And to find that solution is to solve it and answer the following question. Number one, what is Paolo's composite grade in MAPE and how did you find it? So, by finding it, we were going to solve it. As we are going to add this four composite subject of MAPE, and then add, and then divide, divide into, divide, divide into the total number of the subject. One, two, three, four. So, And written work. Divided by the four. So seventy six, eighty five, eighty, eighty five divided by four is equals to three hundred. 26 you divide it by 4 is equals to 81.5 so we're going to put this in here so to find the weight do the same solution, same formula. So to find the weight and other grades, do the same as follows. The composite grade of MAPE by solving it and then Paolo's grade is 87 in overall in MAPE. So in question number two, in which learning area did Paolo perform the best during the first quarter? So as you can see here, Among all of the sub 
subject. Um, this is the highest grade from Paolo. So, it is the education sa pagkatao. So, as you can see in the table, that's how you can see how see it's how you can see in what field Paulo performed the best. So, in question number three, in which learning area does Paulo need to improve on and why so? So, as we're going to find it out, 76. 76 in the area of mathematics, in the subject of mathematics. So, he needs to improve in the subject of mathematics. Maybe, as you can see, it is 76, so may failed in 8-point skills grading, but in 7-point skills, seven skills grading, it is pass. But it is not that quite good grade. So maybe Paolo need to improve it by... Um, the option of tutor or um, assess more on self-study. So, question number four. What does his level of proficiency in Araling Panlipunan signify? So, Araling Panlipunan. 89. So, in Araling Panlipunan, it is not that the highest grade and it is not also the lowest grade so it's just um neutral to this subject so he may be not super good and not not also bad at this but just in the middle which is okay so now question number five describe paulo's overall performance in first quarter and how would you communicate to his parents so as you can see um there are more line of eight one line of nine and one line of 76 so, as I will meet the parents, I would like to suggest them to improve their child, but, but in the specific field, in a specific subject in mathematics, and to keep on, to keep the good job in education pagkatao. So, I would um, discuss it in, the, in his parents by knowing the option I would like to offer. Tutor and also to help the children, to help the student as their parents to improve their, to improve his performance in mathematics to do the homework and may assist them in the homework so yeah so my reflection in this activity in lesson eight is it is the teacher's big responsibility to do the grade with careful accurate honesty in recording and computing the grades because it is something considered as foundation at what and how the student doing in in the field of his or her academic and performance tasks it is as transparent it can be to your student and parents it could be responsibly careful as teacher to compute and record their grade as it is their future depends on it 
how they've been given the grades will affect their next level step in promoting in the next level grade and in college accurate accurate as a teacher you must be free from error especially as a result of care Confer confirming exactly the truth or the standard honesty no bias no pretentious as you as a teacher have a good expectation in helping the student to do more and to maintain their performance as they can base it on the given grades from the computed overall performance so the grades are needed to check in the group as a teacher this is we call checking elementary secondary and tertiary as they end of the school year the group of teacher will do the checking for it to know if there is an error in the report card school form 9 record card and school form 5 general average would remark retain or promoted from form 137 a permanent record for each of the students so doing this activity it is not really that easy computing all the grades of each student in every class it is hard and so so much to do work so as a teacher i salute to them so i hope i'm going to be a good teacher as i'm learning it how to cope with